It was like a fantasy. The Paradise Garage and the Loft were more dreamlike kind of things, where the pure hustle dancers pounded out the dance. People think it's a corny line dance. Well, they don't understand. It was the sexiest, fiercest partner dancing that ever existed. And then Saturday Night Fever came along, and the hustle just seemed to stop being cool. They were not playing disco anymore. Old people got old. And then 15 years ago, I decided to come back to New York City and start hosting hustle parties. changing something cool and comfortable to dance in also started between I would say 73 maybe 74 I started going out in 72 so I was pre-hustle we learned to dance the hustle right on the concrete everybody dancing to their own style their own beat their own flair you can't just dance the hustle on the whim because it's so extraneously powerful just like that. dance it's a conversation it's like a language between two people without speaking you become one the hustle is born in new york so it really has a kind of edge it's like a total excitement that pumps you up it's probably the highest energy dance you'll ever do is our dance and when I got back into it I had health issues and had a broken heart and it really lifted my spirits if you're feeling bad and you hustle dancing I dare you to come out of a hustle party and even remember what you felt bad about it's just really uh, good for the soul